So I have here a, a Git repo, it's private, um, only because I want to show you authentication, not because I have any secrets. Uh, in here, I have three folders, Docker, Kube, and Nomad. As I said to you, you know, um, watch the space for Nomad support. Uh, inside the Docker folder, we have a simple Nginx compose file that will deploy an Nginx service. Uh, we have a simple application uh, that has in here some some variables that we will populate uh, in the kubernetes environment we have a single large manifest that contains both a deployment and a service we have a deployment that is just a deployment so just deploying an instance of nginx here single replica and then the corresponding service that will then execute and publish the deployment as a service and we have a simple compose file as well. So it's a compose file that's been tickled with some compose with a K labels to actually work against Kubernetes. So very, very, very simple um, things here. And again, obviously your environment would look far more complicated than this, but. Now, just looking at a question, the order update is simply looking at this, this ID. If this ID changes, uh, then, then we, we see there is a difference and then we, we poll, poll the repo and look for new, ver new versions of this file. Okay, so in Portainer here, I will start with Docker. So here I have an environment that's running out on a cloud, doesn't have to be in a cloud, can be anywhere, it doesn't actually matter. And I have a Docker environment it happens to be Docker Swarm, but doesn't matter. It's a single node. Uh, and I have a Kubernetes environment from a managed Kubernetes provider. So if I come into the Docker environment, uh, I have nothing running but the Portainer agent. If I come into stacks here, I say I want to add a stack, choose Git repo. And then all we need to do is paste in or type in the repo. Uh, just because I'm lazy, I've got that pre-prepared. Uh, we need to put in the path and I'm just going to use the main. Uh, and in my case here, it is Docker and it's the nginx.yaml file. I want to authenticate and I want to authenticate with my credentials and I want to do automatic updates. Here, I'm just going to have it at a five minute fetch interval. And oops, I need to give it a name. And now I can deploy. And this will now go authenticate to Git, uh, pull down the manifest that's needed and deploy it. And if I come into services, you'll see there is a service that we've deployed. It's in fact already running now. Uh, and here is the here it is here. Now I can come into here now, go into Docker. I can come into the Nginx file. I can edit this. I can change replicas from one to two. I can commit the change. Now, again, you wouldn't normally commit to main. It's bad practice. I'm, I'm, I'm a naughty developer. So I now have two replicas. And within, within five minutes, uh, you'll see this change from one to two. So now we have two of two. This one is not yet updated because that was obviously a different loop cycle. So now we've already got the Nginx one. So we've got two of two. Um, so that is, that's going to, going to work there. So as you can see, and I can I can also come in here and scale it to zero if I want, and it will it will shut down as well. Mm -hmm.